Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Southern Tea Time and I'm glad that you are here and I'm glad that you're watching. If you are new to my channel, I hope that you stay tuned to watch this product review that I have in store. And if you're also new, please make sure that you hit that subscribe button. And also you want to hit that notification bell because whenever I do live videos, they send you a notification. And when I upload videos, you will get a notification so you don't miss out. I want you to be in the know. So please make sure you do those and let's get right into this uh, review. I was contacted by this company, Parku, Parco. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong, but um, I was contacted by them to do a part review. And I said, sure, I love pens. You send it to me for free. Yes. Hello. So I thought I'd go ahead and just show you guys what this pen can do, what this pen is all about. And... You may want to buy this. You never know. So I thought I'd go ahead and um, do this for you guys. So stay tuned. All right. So let's get right into it. First, what I want to do is just go over the colors with you guys. Let you see the pen, how it looks, and then go right into what all this pen can do. So you got 10 vibrant colors. I don't know if you can tell the colors from here but they are vibrant and I don't have any, any order so I do apologize all right so there are 10 colors that come in this pack the colors are black red blue blue black green light green orange pink light blue and purple you get all of these vibrant colors like these right here they, I mean, they're glowing to me. It looks like it. It might, might not be glowing, but it looks like it is. <laughs> so what I want to do, let's look at a pen. Let's see. Let's pick a pen. I like pink. So let's do pink. No, let's do purple. Okay. We're going to do purple. So let's look at it. Try to give you up close and personal view. And you can already see like pretty much where the ink line stops and starts there a little bit. There you go. And I mean, it's pretty vibrant color. So it says erasable pen and it has the company name Parco on there. And it says remove by friction. So I'm excited to get started with this. So it is um, a cap pen and it has a good grip when it snaps in. Like you have to kind of put a little grip to it, but it snaps really hard and it's not a flimsy cap that will just come flying off. So I do like that. And at the tip, you do have the eraser here and it has, uh, let me see, there we go. You can see the, the little eraser there at the tip there. And that's what we will use to erase the gel off. And we'll do that momentarily. But I want to just give you a look at it. And all the pens are just like these, just different colors. So I just want to do just one particular color. And then what I like to do, I have my sheet of paper here. We're going to write with it, see how it writes, if it writes smooth, if it bleeds through, if it leaves uh, any residue, and if if it will stay, if the color would stay. And then you will see why um, I say if the color would stay. Because it does come with a thermal sensitive uh, ink gel ink that comes inside of it and what that means is that um the ink disappears when it gets to a certain temperature and i thought that was really cool so you might want to think about if you're using this pen to write certain things with um you may not want to have that in the car with you because if you in the car especially during the summertime and you really need it that ink will disappear in the heat so i say that to that's why I mentioned um, about the heat and the thermosensitive gel that it that comes in. So this these gel are thermosensitive, which it it changes by the temperature. Now the color or the ink will be restored once it cools, and you can put the, the paper into a refrigerator, and then the ink will reappear. But you don't have to take my word for it. I'm gonna just go ahead and write with it, show you all the pros and cons to it, which I don't really see a con to it other than the ink disappearing. So if you want something important or if it's an important document, I don't recommend that you use it. And they also do not recommend that you use these ink gels with um, for important, important documents or 
for signatures. So please make note of that if you're in the market for this or you do like this review and you like the pen, you like how it looks, I would suggest not purchasing it for the, for the result of using it for um, credential stuff, um, important documents, and using it to sign something very important because this will not work with the temperature, with the thermal sensitive um, gel ink that's in it. So let's go right into it. What I'll do is just go ahead and start with one. I'll test it out, see how it flows, and then I'll just kind of speed through the rest of this video as I write with all the other colors, okay? All right, let's see what this does. Okay, it skipped a little bit. Let me see if you can tell there. It skipped a little bit. I mean, don't judge my handwriting. But I think it's just because it's a new pen and I may need to work the gel down some more. But once the gel starts flowing, I think it will write smoothly. So, I mean, I have no problem with that. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so they're pretty vibrant colors. Like I said, I had a little skip with this one and this one, but like I said, they're new pins, so I may have to work them a little bit, keep on writing with it, and I, I think it will flow just nice because the other ones, they did the same thing. So I have no problem with that. So these are the colors. They're pretty vibrant, and I like it. It writes smooth, and let's see if it bled through. So I just had a folded page, by the way, and just me writing on it and I didn't really press hard well I am a hard presser but I didn't do much pressing hard on it but it didn't look like it bleed through the to the other side so that's good to know so I like that now let's check out the eraser of it let's let's get close and personal so let's see let's try this one here oh okay it erases very easily. I don't have to force it too much. It just like it says, remove by friction. I just gave it a little bit of of a friction over it, and it came off real nice. Um, it doesn't have a residue, so once you erase it, there's no residue to kind of wipe off. But I know sometimes by habit we erase, and we just by habit just do that. But it doesn't have a residue. Once you erase, I do like that because that residue sometimes with erasers is a pain. So I do like that I can erase and then there's nothing nothing there, no residue. I do still have pretty much a little bit of an imprint there. You can see the wording there, but I mean, that's fine. I don't have a problem with it. So let's try the blue color. All right, and again, no residue to wipe off. There's no no residue from just me erasing, so I do like that. I do like this. Um, like I said, you can still see the little imprints of the words, which is fine with me. I don't know if maybe somebody else may not like that, but it doesn't bother me. It's not a deal breaker for me, so I like that. Now let's test out the heat portion of this pen which I thought was really cool and I wanted to do this with you guys because I want you guys to see because I've never seen it but I thought it'd just be cool to do so as I'm setting up my pens and setting up my my machine so that I can show you guys I will do this real quick sorry about that almost done two more to go all right, so what I thought I would test it out 
with is my handy dandy hair blow dryer. Sorry, let's zoom out. With my hair dryer. Um, don't mind me with the bl bl blow dryer. I normally don't have this in my craft room, but I thought for this review, I wanted to give you the full review. All right, so the blow dryer heat was enough to make it disappear. But as you can see, as it's cooling off, the color is coming back. So if you want to restore the color to get the full writing of it, just place it in the refrigerator at a cool temperature and it will slowly come back such as this. And don't take my word for it because on the back of the packet, it tells you that it would reappear once you put it inside of um, a refrigerator or at a certain temperature, cooling temperature, um, the ink will reappear. Okay. So I hope you guys enjoy this review. Thank you again to the company Parco for letting me do this review and sending me the pens for free to try out. I will be using this, but in a different way, not on important documents, of course. And again, if you're new to my channel, before you, this video ends, please make sure that you hit that subscribe button and also that notification bell so that you can get notified when I do uh, live videos and when I upload other reviews such as these. So please make sure you give me a big thumbs up on this video and I will see you guys next time. Peace.